What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I'm under the weather a little bit, really congested. And anyways, we're still gonna try to do this today. We did also get something else scheduled for this truck that you guys have been hounding me about doing for so long now. Uh, pretty much since we got the truck, you guys have been talking about getting this done. So it's on the schedule now and somebody's gonna be getting that installed very soon. You'll just have to wait and see. Most of you can probably guess it, but if you can't, I ain't gonna tell you. So let's get this thing cold started up. It hasn't been moved in three days. We're gonna cold start this thing up. It's 29 degrees out right now. It's pretty cold, and uh, we're gonna get it started up and pulled on over to the barn. was not getting in the cab and like pumping up the throttle. If you get in and you actually feather the throttle, like put a little bit of pressure on it, not much, and then you try to crank it over, it, it'll fire up way faster. They all usually do, these fall valves, but still, still started pretty good for being really cold and not being moved in a few days. It is your last day to enter to win that flat nasty, that 12 valve Cummins at 97 12 valve plus five, thousand freaking dollars cash so if you want to get in on that it's your last couple hours to get in before that giveaway is gone and i will do a small recap 17 by 9 anthem wheels brand new custom leather interior all custom brand new headliner Yes, it's a four wheel drive. Nice vinyl flooring for a work truck. 35 by 12 50s. 17 by nine anthems. Airbags for towing. With your inflate and deflate valves being right there. Flatbed that's powder coated the same color code as the truck's paint. So like I said guys, if you want to get entered to win this truck plus five grand, this is your last chance. That giveaway is ending tonight at midnight and then it is gone. Every $1, 25 entries to win right now and the giveaway does end tonight at midnight. Happy Thanksgiving, slightly early, but I'm sure a lot of you are already celebrating. Um, hopefully you guys have a good time with friends and family and you guys are having a good time and not under the weather. I'm not like that badly under the weather, it's just a little bit of sore throat and stuff, you know, the last couple days, but it seems like it's getting a little bit better. Pretty excited about that being gone. Gonna be thankful for that. We're going to be raiding your Rocks. Yes, that is what we're gonna be doing today. If I have a cough drop in my mouth at times, I do apologize if it is annoying to you guys, um, but it's helping me keep my voice long enough to be able to do this video. Some of you might be like, well, why would you film this video if you're not feeling good? Just take a break, man, just take a break. Well, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, actually, just so you guys know the video schedule is gonna be off a little bit. I'm not gonna be posting a video this Friday, the day after Thanksgiving on Black Friday. I'm not gonna be posting a video on Black Friday or on Monday. I'm not gonna be posting a video on Monday either but I do intend on posting a video following up on Wednesday of next week. So in one, I'm just taking a one week break, kind, kind of one week. I mean, basically I won't be doing something Thanksgiving day until Monday, but that, not really a week at all, but almost, a, just whatever. You guys get the idea. I'm gonna take a few days to myself, hang out with some family. We're gonna do some deer hunting. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon right there. Sorry, he had a flag. He had like a, a big flag. It said, let's go Brandon. I don't know who Brandon is, but let's go. But yeah, so uh, let's get into this. We're gonna rate some of you guys' trucks. And hopefully we got some good ones here. I, I saw my DMs and the first bunch of them I saw were, they were all Dodge. It was like third gen, second gens all that stuff. So let's get into this and, um, and hopefully you guys sent me some good stuff. Some of these I'm going to like go into a little bit more into detail. I'm gonna be rating them. And how do I wanna rate them? I wanna rate them, it's gotta be fair. I'll do them from one to 10 and uh, it'll just kinda be based on my opinion, my preference and you know how I think it's modded out or set up and what the intended purpose of the truck is. If it's mentioned in the comments of the message being sent over. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go to all requests on my Instagram, direct messages. We got some good stuff. For the first truck, we have a 2003 F250 73 Power Stroke making roughly 400 horsepower, 
good farm truck. Not very many pictures of it. I've got I've got that one right there. One more right there okay and by the way don't don't take these ratings personal like oh he's hating on my truck no guys this is just my opinion on some things that I'm looking at obviously I'm gonna weigh into the fact that everybody has you know a different taste everybody has a different budget everybody has a different liking of what they want done to their vehicle obviously so this is just my opinion based on my preferences and my taste I think the truck is cool you know it reminds me of the one that my dad had growing up which was a white 73 he had the fender flares on it too but he didn't have a lot of stance it reminds me a lot of that obviously that body saw that year I love that because my dad had one growing up so I, I, grow, I grew really close to those I would give it a 5 out of 10 and and this is why I'm saying this not because it's not a cool truck because it is I just think a little bit more stance would be a little bit cooler and again if this is somebody's project then probably isn't done yet but in terms of the state that it is in uh, with no stance the fender flares not being paint matched and then the front and rear bumpers not being paint matched and the grill not being paint matched and the mirrors and all that stuff for me personally which he might be doing at some point I don't know I would eventually get all that stuff paint matched up stance it out a little bit more with those fender flares and you'd be perfect this is a 97 OBS Ford but it's a gas truck, but this thing is sick. So it reminds me a lot of an OBS that we actually gave away with forces on it at one point. A 97 F-250 gas, or six inch body lift, three inches of suspension, sitting on some 36 inch super swampers with 17 by nine pro comps, headers with cab lights along with dual exhaust and cherry bombs looks pretty cool it looks like a really fun toy i'll do a six out of ten only because i don't like body lifts and i hate body lifts they ride so bad at least in my experience the couple that i had that had them and i got rid of them they rode like crap i hated the way they felt going down the road just a, just a little bit of a it's hard to explain or hard, hard to describe. It's a little bit of an odd feeling through the cab when you're feeling that. If you guys have had them, you know what I'm saying. Other than that, the thing looks sweet. I mean, it looks awesome. If I was gonna do a truck that I wanted to put like a 12 valve in at some point or put a 7.3 into, that would be the truck that I would do it to. But as a fun toy with the swampers and the wheel and tire setup he's got on and all that stuff, it looks like it'd be a freaking ton of fun, like a fun toy. Now we're freaking talking. Check this freaking thing out right here. F-150. Extended cab OBS Ford. Let me see if yeah, focus it up a little bit better there. Super clean truck. It looks like in the photos. It says uh, 93 F-150, 149,000 miles, six inch lift, 32s, full exhaust system, headers, full sound system. Windows are tinted out. It's dark, but not too dark. Other than that, it's stock. Pretty cool. Here's a really nice picture of it. If I get that one to focus up, that looks really nice. Really clean looking. I'd give it a seven out of ten. The way that truck set up, the wheel and tire set up, and just everything being kept pretty untouched the per that's the purpose of that truck i mean that's what he's wanting to do with it for the most part i'm guessing he's wanted to be like cosmetically like appearance wise to kind of keep that like old school essence to it without being too heavily modified um, and i could be completely wrong because obviously it does have a little bit of a lift on it and stuff but for the most part it cosmetically just looks like old school cool and i and i really like that especially on that body style um that is just I, I love the look of that truck. Dang, I don't know if this is a gas or a diesel, but second gens are life. Just so you guys know, that thing is freaking clean. All he said was, post my truck. It looks like it's a 12 valve, and the only reason I'm saying that is because in, in this photo here on his page, you can kind of see, if you look closely, you can kind of see the, the piping that goes to the turbo there. That You know what I'm saying? Um, in the boot that goes to the intercooler. Um, I'm guessing it's a 12 valve, and if it is, dude, it's sweet. I would give it a, I'd give that one a seven out of 10 too, just because of the simplicity of it. Okay, so there's a point where, where your truck is just like way overdone and it's stupid, and then there's a point where your truck was like very subtly modified, and when you look at the truck, you just know that that's the way it was intended to look and like that's the finished product that you wanted. And then there's trucks that are kind of like in between to where they're not crazy modified, but they're more than subtly modified and you don't really know what direction they're going with the build. You're kind of like, okay, like where are you going with this? This truck, it just kind of looks like it's the intention of it is just to keep it simple. And for that reason, I give it a seven out of 10 just because, you know, I, I, I don't know anything else about it. I don't know if it's got a bunch of power done. I don't know if it's got a five speed versus an auto. I don't know if it's, you know what I'm saying? So um, for that reason, seven out of 10, Pretty cool though, I like that truck. Lo I love the, the regular cab, 12 valves, freaking love them. It looks to be a 24 valve Cummins Sport. Kept pretty simple, little bit of stance. Looks like he might have some uh, 20 by 
10s on it possibly or 18 by 10s something pretty subtle I'll give it a 7.5 I'll give it a 7.5 just because I do like how everything the front end you know that sport front end everything's color matched up looks pretty sweet but it's not like over the top but it's not so minimally touched that you can't even tell anything was done to it I, I kind of like the way that he did it. I'm guessing that's a, I'm just gonna take a guess, dude. I'm guessing that's a seven inches of lift, a five inch lift with a front leveling kit on it. That's kind of what it looks like to me. It it's, sits pretty tall. Pretty sweet truck, man. This is so sick. Okay, guys, we got a full 10 out of 10 here. This is so freaking sick. Look at this thing. This thing, that's a winner right there. Look at that. Come and swap too. I hope it's focusing. I really hope it's focusing. That thing is so freaking so freaking cool. So it looks like it's a custom flatbed, custom paint color, custom front bumper with a winch on it. Not even a custom front bumper, just a custom uh, winch mounting setup. Very subtle, looks like 16 by 10s or 9s on some BF Goodrich TKOs. So that truck's actually an 8912 valve Cummins engine VE pump, shield diesel, stock street turbo upgrade ARP head studs, AFE dry air filter, pump has been advanced, Denny T stage two fuel pen, BD 3200 Governor Springs. It's a 69 Kaiser Jeep J3000 Gladiator. Full frame off restoration, powder coated everything. That is freaking so cool. Bill scene 5100 series all the way around. NV4500 transmission. South Bend dual disc clutch. He's got a long list. It's That's freaking cool. That is a that is a really cool truck. That truck gets a full 10 out of 10 just because it's so one of a kind and it's not something that you can just, you can't just go buy that. Like you had to put a lot of time into that truck. I mean, that thing is so sick. So 10 out of 10 for effort and just uniqueness. Okay, I freaking love this truck, guys. I'm so sorry. This is another 10 out of 10. This guy's truck right here. He is first gen life on Instagram. I don't know how many of you guys have seen him. I love this truck. Here, let me show you another picture of it. As you can see, I follow him and I like his pictures. Uh, his, his truck is, I love it. It's an 89 12 valve limited edition, five speed, 50 horse injector, 60 pound valve spring, stage two fuel pin, 4K governor spring kit, and an HX40 turbo setup on it. Why would I give that truck a 10 out of 10? A, it's a first gen, automatic win. No, not just that, because uh, there's some first gens that aren't really that cool. It's a first gen, it has been completely restored. If you guys follow this guy on Instagram, it's first underscore gen underscore life. He's had to completely restore the truck. He's done a couple, I think, but this one he's had to completely replace a bunch of panels because it had some rust on it and stuff. And he's completely done the thing up and it looks really cool. And, and you can just tell the way he has this truck set up is just very tastefully power upgraded. But then in terms of cosmetic appearance, like when you see the truck, it's just kept old school cool. Like nothing's overdone. It's just kind of like a limited edition factory look, like 16 by 10s or maybe 16 by 9, something like that. It's not nothing crazy. It might be leveled to the front, but if it has any suspension that's probably the most that was done as a front level and then that's it but it's just kept very simple very clean nothing overdone and the color is just so freaking cool i love the color of that truck there's another view of it right there yeah i just i'm a sucker for first gens and second gens anyways but especially first gens um yeah they're just too freaking cool dude i just freaking freaking love them. That's going to be it in terms of the trucks that I'm going to go through. I didn't have any more to go through yet. As I was going through, I had a few more pop up like first gen life has just popped up as I was about to actually end out the video. I saw his name pop up and he sent that over. Yeah, definitely a lot of super cool trucks If I didn't get to yours because you sent it in after the video um, was filmed. I do apologize. I can't do them all, but I did have fun going through some of those guys. And uh, if I did not rate your truck a 10 out of 10, it's okay. Like, it's just my opinion based on what I would have done to finish that truck or make some slight changes to make it look a certain way, depending on how I thought you were trying to go with the project. But that's just my opinion. If you guys think your truck is a 10 out of 10, then it's a 10 out of 10 for you, and that's all that matters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that if you wanna get entered to win, that beautiful 12 app coming plus $5,000 of cold hard cash, guys, today's your last day to enter to win that truck today, November 24th. So do not waste time. Once it is officially Thanksgiving day, the giveaway is over for that truck. And as I say every time, when we get down to the last couple of days, somebody has got to take that truck home. Somebody's got to win. It might as well be you. And just a little bit of insight. I'm not giving you numbers on this giveaway. I'm going to give you a little bit of info on the last giveaway. On the last giveaway that we did for that beautiful 
80 some thousand mile third gen Cummins four door crew cab. I mean, super sweet truck. Not even 1,000 people enter on the website for that truck. These are individual people that enter to win that truck on the website. Now, some of them may have placed a couple of orders throughout the giveaway, but some of them may have only placed one. But for the last giveaway, we only had like, I think it was like 953 people enter on the website for that truck. So if you're going to get in, all I'm gonna say is this, your odds for this one are even better. And it's ending here soon. If you wanna get in, I'm telling you guys, it's way better than any scratch off you're gonna get. It's way better than any gas station lotto ticket you're gonna buy to win a hundred bucks. I mean, I mean, you're talking about, even if you don't love the truck and you just wanna pawn it off and sell it for 15, 20 grand and then move on, you could do that and it doesn't matter if you love the truck or not, it's a great opportunity to get entered to win something that could potentially way multiply your money. I mean, you're talking like in the matter of a couple days here, somebody's gotta be drawn to win that truck and it could be you and you could be getting five grand plus that thing. Your odds were like insanely good and you passed it up and then somebody else wins it. And it could have been you, no pressure. Just letting you know that if you wanna get entered, uh, your odds, I always I always try to tell you guys, your odds are way better than you freaking realize. It's way better than you realize, you know? You know, there's people that think, oh, thousands and thousands and thousands of people enter every single time. That's not true. But for the most part, there's not as many people that enter as you guys would think, because everybody's usually thinking, oh, there's probably tons of people that enter, so I probably shouldn't enter, because it's a waste of my time, I'm not gonna win anyway. And then little do they know, they could have been the person that won, but they didn't take the chance. You can't win if you don't play. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. If you wanna get in, lmpgear.com, place an order, and you're automatically entered to win. Thanks so much, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Can't wait to see you when you come to pick up your new truck. Peace.